Hello everybody, this is Stringham back to conclude Group G. We still have one place up for grabs and we will find out who gets it. So up first we got a big game between the Light Fury and Nopey. Then an even bigger contest between the Skrill and Dino Smash. And then a clash at the top between Arctic Warriors and Try. So yeah, let's see how, how this group will finish. Okay, I think that's good news. Actually, that's very good news for the Light Fury. In the red corner, we got Lex over Soros. Dun dun dun. Light Fury getting a massive win in round four against Dino Smash to keep their tournament's hope alive. Oh, we got Paris. Backing up Lexi Vesaurus, we got Super Paris. I think it's Super Paris. Yes, it is Super Paris. Waiting mode on two. <laughs> and it will have terrain advantage. A bon well, a bonus point win is ideal for Light Fury here. A win will probably not be enough, even though it would get them in the top four. The odds of Dino Smash and, tra and um, Skrill ending in a draw are quite slim. A bonus point win, though, and that does give Light Fury a chance. Right, in the blue corner, for Mr. Nopey, we got Triceratops, the orange Triceratops. Nopey already safely through to the last 32 round. And as it stands, we'll be facing El Gozzi. Backing up the trite, we got Eocarcaria, the Stone Cold Eocarcaria. But it will have terrain disadvantage, so yeah, that's a problematic feel for Nopey. But as I said, they've already done the work. So it's not, no, not really the end of the world if they do lose this match. But yeah, first things first. Oh no, we don't have terrain advantage, disadvantage yet. <laughs> I, f I forgot that the Eocarcaria goes in second and RNG's being a pain again. Alright, we should be back. Ooh, that's a start Light Fury would want. A crit off the bat. Okay, nobody wants to swap when HP below half. Light Fury in the yellow. Ooh, that's a tie. I think Trike's HP is going to be below half after that. And indeed it is. Ooh, seems like going for that crit. And for good reason! What a start from the Light Fury! And actually, it's going to get off another crit because Eocarcaria comes in. And because it has the terrain disadvantage, Lexivasaurus is going to get another crit. Wow. Light Fury may actually do this. So, yep, yeah, another crit come in. Boosh! The terrain causing Nopey all sorts of problems. Look at that! Okay, they're not going for the crit this time. Ooh, that's a tie. Well, can Nopey come back into this? Actually, I don't even think they can because even if the Lex of Asaurus dies, Super Paris comes in with the terrain advantage. Oh, Deathfire though, is a... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Actually, yeah, it's game over. It's game over. But Light Fury is going to win this match. But can can they get the bonus point, which would be absolutely massive for them? Oh, they can't! It's a Deathfire from Dopey. That's going to deny the bonus point win. Oh, is that it? That's probably going to be it. Because like I said, Dino Smash and the Skrill, a very small chance of it being a draw. And yeah, Paris does have the terrain advantage over the Okarkiri, so it will get a crit. And that does guarantee that the Light Fury will win this match. So they, they got the win. It's a crucial win. And for the time being, it'll put them fourth. But I highly doubt they're going to stay there, so... Oh, Deathfire, probably going to spell the death of Light Fury in this tournament. But they did win. Right, let's have a look at the table, shall we? Actually, now that I've really thought about it, that Deathfire did in fact spell the end for the Light Fury in this tournament because no matter what the outcome is in this next contest, whether it's a win for or a draw, one of them is going to go above Light Fury and knock them into fifth. So yeah, even though Light Fury sits fourth at the moment, they're not going to stay fourth. 
and they will drop into fifth and they will bow out of this tournament. As for Notebeat, it looks like they're probably going to get third place, which means a match against LB Gozzi to look forward to. But that can change in this next upcoming match between Dino Smash and the Skrill. Ooh, interesting. We're in the volcano field, which makes sense this is, since this is probably going to be a fiery matchup. Right, in the red corner. For the Skrill, we've got Shunasaurus. Shunasaurus kind of been doing all the heavy lifting for Skrill this far in this tournament. Ba -ba -da -da Definitely a Thai specialist. Backing up the uh, Shunasaurus, we've got Gastonia. Could be a problem this for the Skrill. Gastonia does have terrain disadvantage on this field. But thankfully, Dino Smash doesn't have any fire dinosaurs, so there we go. Right, in the blue corner for Dino Smash, we have got a Therizinosaurus. Therizinosaurus is with an odd move set, but it's a move set that seems to be very effective when it when it gets going. Anyway, Dino Smash will be hoping it gets going in this matchup. Backing up the ferry, we've got the Diceratops. Diceratops, we've definitely seen what it can do. It was very effective against Try in round three. That plasma, well, especially with the plasma anchor. But it will have the tight disadvantage against Agastonia, so that could be a problem. If it gets to that. Right, let's see how this match pans out. Massive, massive contest. Oh, that's not the start that the Dino Smash would want. A crit, a tie bond that can. Maybe a shockwave as well. Okay, no shockwave there. Got away with one there, Dino Smash. Both our dudes want to swap them HPs below half. But Shunasaurus getting another hit on the board. This is, this is a very good start from the Skrill. Ooh, as a tie, and that's exactly what the scroll wants. Look at the fairy on the brink of death. Dino Smash needs this next hit, and he doesn't get it. Oh, it's catastrophe. Well, the Diceratops is going to come in. It does have the type advantage, I will say that. But oh, things look in bleak for Dino Smash. Okay, gotta take on the Gastonia as well. Okay, there's a crit. Well, he needs to get some crits and plasma anchors on the board. A stomping hammer, it's gonna do some damage. I'm sure at this point you'd prefer it to be lightning strike, but, you know. Too late. Okay, that's probably bang on halfway, so I won't attempt to swap yet. Okay, now it's below half. Dino Smash finally getting some hits on the board. And remember, the Gastonia does have terrain disadvantage, so the Diceratops will get a hit if, when and if it comes in. Oh, he stops the swap! Well, just when I thought the Skrill was on top, Dino Smash smashing his way back into this contest. And all of a sudden... Technique boost maxed up, so ties will probably favour Dino Smash with the Plasma Anchor. Right, terrain disadvantage, you know, so you know all that means that Diceratops gets the next hit, but Gastonia does have the type advantage, so that hit won't do any damage. Well, it'll do some damage, but not much. But look at this from Dino Smash, wrestling the momentum in this match. And all of a sudden, the Skrill is in trouble. Okay, that's not the worst case scenario. Oh dear, what, where has this come from? Okay, that's a tiger. You, oh, no plasma anchor, no plasma anchor. Ooh, the squirrel not beaten yet. Ooh, it's nail biting. It's all gonna come down to this. A hit from the squirrel and he wins it. A hit from Dino Smash, unless it's paper and he wins it. Smash, but it's not enough, but it does put Dino Smash in the driving seat. A tie will do it. But a tie is 
not what he gets. The Skrill is going to win. And that is going to knock Dino Smash out of this tournament. Or will it? They'll get a losing bonus point. I'll have to double check the table. But I think that is going to knock Dino Smash out of the tournament. And that's a big result for the Skrill. Right, we'll look at the table and move on to our final match of this session. So yeah, I, I was actually right. By virtue of the fact that Dino Smash got that losing bonus point against the Skrill means that Dino Smash is going to go through to the last 32 round. And the Skrill, despite winning that match, is going out. And that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. But yeah, that is going to be our four from Group G going through, ladies and gentlemen. Tri Arctic Warriors, Nopi and Dino Smash. And while Nopi and Dino Smash will finish third and fourth respectively, we still got the little matter of who tops this group to decide between a Tri and Arctic Warrior. So let's find out who will top this group. And well, unlike the second match, whoever wins this match will top this group 100%. Right, in the red corner for Arctic Warriors, we got the Alpha Kentrosaurus. Okay, this is Sunset Beach by the looks of it, which is, actually, doesn't affect anybody, because neither of our guys have a water or a grass dinosaur. Right, backing up the Kentrosaurus, we've got Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, Arctic Warriors still dreaming of getting the Alpha Arena, maybe they'll get it in the knockout rounds. And yes, I, I will take this time to say that I really appreciate all the feedback and such I've received with regards to Terrain Advantage. Because I did put up a poll a few weeks ago whether you wanted me to scrap Terrain Advantage for the knockout round. And well, a resounding majority said no. Keep the Terrain Advantage as it is, so I will do that. And yeah, I really appreciate the feedback as well. So yeah, thank you for that. Right, back to this match. In the blue corner for Try, we got Penty Ceratops. This is a tough one to call. This is going to be a really tough one to call. No terrain advantage. Yeah, this is going to be really tough. I think if either of our guys had a terrain advantage, I would probably back. I would probably favour them to win. But yeah, no terrain advantage means that this is up for grabs. This is anyone's game. I will say though, there is even though these two are through. There is a little bit at stake here in terms of topping this group. If you top this group, you go to the right side of the draw, which at the looks, by the looks of it, is the more favourable side of the draw. Whereas on the left side, you've got the likes of our host, Stranger Gamer, you've got Ultima Dino King, our champ Diddy Darius, you've got, I think someone else as well, I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry, oh, Broxy, Broxy, that's the bugger. So yeah, you kind of want to be on the left, right side of the draw, with not as many heavyweights on that side. That's a good start from Arctic Warriors here, coming out the blocks, but Penty Ceratops gets a hit. Okay, yeah, Try wants to swap when HP's in the red, Arctic Warriors below half. Ooh, Arctic Warriors getting the next hit. Actually, yeah, this... I forgot about the uh, the uh, Kentrosaurus on type advantage over the Pentaceratops. That could be a factor. So maybe that does put Arctic Warriors in a favourable position. But Try has the Dino Tector. Okay, that's below half. Oh, but his Pentaceratops get the swap. It's a Gatlin Spark. Could that be a turning point? I'm pretty sure Kent Kentrosaurus will survive. Alright, they won't. Terry comes in. The Alpha Acro's gonna get hit. Oh, is that the turning point? Oh, there's a crit from Try. And remember, they've got the Dino Tector thing. Oh, wow. They're not even gonna get a Dino Tector. Arctic Warriors in trouble. Another tie. Ooh, Arctic Warriors are striking back with a Magma Blaster. And he said, yes, it's Magma Blaster. <laughs> For some reason, I've always heat eruption is not. Arctic Warriors not beaten yet. 
poisoning Terry as well. Oh, this is interesting now, because Arctic Warriors can get the next hit here. That puts them right back in there. Fall on this, I suppose. Oh, they don't get the next hit. They don't get the swap, and they're probably going to die here because this Terry's Reform type. Well, that's a resounding bonus point victory for Tri, which confirms they will top Group G. Right, the oh then. We'll have a look at how Group G finished. And we'll have a look at where all our guys will be in the last 32 rounds. Well, big re well, that was a big result for Tri, finishing the group top with 15 points, which in fact is the most that anyone has got so far. That's more than our host Stranger Gamer, Master Shian, Elty Gozzi, Cheer Knights, Ultima Dino King, Broxy Champion Team, and Diddy Daria. So yeah, Tri really having a good tournament so far, and could be a dark horse. Then we have Arctic Warriors in second place on 10 points. Also enjoying a fine tournament. Nopey in third place there, staying in third. <laughs> and then Dino Smash by the skin of his teeth, scraping our fourth position spot. Right, let's see how the last 32 round looks after that. So, yep, here's our first matchup. It is going to be Broxy going up against Dino Smash. And then we'll have Nopey going up against LP Godzi going to be a tough bracket though for Arctic Warriors going up against Xeno Slick Goku. And poor old Tri will have to wait until the final round of group games in Group H to find out their opponent. But as it stands, it will be against Dan Soros. But yeah, like I said, that probably is going to change. Then again, I said that about Nopi and that didn't change. And yeah, that is it. So yeah, you can definitely tell right away that this side of the draw is a lot more, a lot tougher than this side. And yeah, looking at it, the winner could come from, will most likely come from this side. But yeah, we can go through the last 32 round when I conclude Group H, which will be in the next session. So until then, ta-ta!